Hello, the name's Mike, M0MSN, and uh, I've been uh, making a series of videos on, during the, the lockdown uh, on building different antennas. Um, and uh, I've been in conversation over the last couple of weeks or so with uh, a gentleman by the name of Rowley um, in New Zealand. And uh, I have made one of his um, coils um, to use on the bottom of the DX Commander. Uh, this turns the 40 meter element into an 80 meter element uh, and I'm going to show you how to build one and how it works and it does work. This is 50 millimeter internal diameter waste pipe from Tool Station. Not overly expensive, I think I got about two and a half meters of it for about five pounds. Marking off uh, five millimeter spacing here for the coil to be wound on. I've used 1.6 millimeter copper wire, which I purchased from Brocop in Ripon. You buy it in weight rather than length, which uh, I suppose is a commodity, isn't it? So that's the way it goes. I thought this was going to be easy. found that if you use a hot glue gun and space the coils as you go, um, you know, do a section, glue a section, do a section, glue a section, uh, it's a lot easier than trying to uh, do the whole thing in one go before gluing. Yeah, I've speeded this bit up, it took absolutely ages to get the spacings right. Many, many attempts, which uh, I won't bore you with, but uh, suffice it to say that you glue, I was going to say on all four corners, but uh, every quarter of a turn, glue the, the spacing, otherwise uh, you'll find that uh, it doesn't quite work as well as it should. Uh, also, I would suggest uh, if you've got access to a lathe, it might be worth uh, seeing if you can get the thread cut into the pipe. Um, it would make winding the, uh, the coil a lot easier. There you go. Right, I should uh, uh, just check in spacing and finish the coil with another uh, nut and bolt on, on the other end. I've cut the, the eyelet off that I started with as it was there really just to guide the uh, the copper in the very, very first place. Cleaning the ends and now putting eyelets on and soda and crimping them. This one will be used for the earth which goes to the bottom of the DX commander, the actual base plate. The top one goes to the, the 40 meter element. Here I'm scraping away the enamel so that I can solder on some tags for the coil. <laughs> Needle nose pliers and uh, a very hot soda and iron, I think, is the order of the day. There you are, finished product. This will connect to the to the the outer shield or the bottom plate on the DX Commander. Then you'd connect the DX Commander drive plate to one of these, depending on what part of the band you want to use. 
and the top of the coil here would go to the bottom of the 40 meter element and up, up the pole it will go. Um, so we'll, we'll give this a try and see if it works. A roly coil and a 40 meter element going up and then back down to its usual place on a DX Commander Classic coil. Okay. Now what we've got is 50 turns on a 50 millimeter uh, inside diameter former, so that's actually 53 or 54 millimeters in total diameter, which has actually thrown the coil out of whack a little bit. It's actually made it about three turns too long, believe it or not. So I'll uh, I'll sort that out. Here we have our uh, our base. It's uh, connected to the ground okay via that length of cable then the coil is then um, that's the matching that's the the 50 ohm matching point um but of course it's a transformer as such really so it's a matching coil uh, that's then connected to the driven plate um and this is the antenna length here uh, this bit and then obviously the antenna itself going up so <clears throat> I miscalculated, I needed about three coils or three turns less using this material on this diameter. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to um, rub off the access here and I'll short that directly to the, um, to the attachment point uh, and that will bring the length of the coil down um, and that will mean that this match point here would be more accurate. Alternatively, what I could do is add another um, t soda tab here uh, or tap and another tap here and another tap here, uh, another three of them every other turn. Um, and I could do the same there. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to add taps here. Uh, and I'm also, uh, if that doesn't work, I'll, uh, I'll short the, um, the coils out here. Well, it's been a bit of, bit of work. Quite a lot of work, actually. But the roly coil works. Um, in my particular instance, I had to uh, just uh, soda in a few more tabs, and I found the uh, the one that it matches the best on. So you can see the uh, the setup there. This could be a lot neater, obviously, but uh, it's good enough for experiment purposes and for mobile use, of course. And uh, I had to, uh, like I said, to short the uh, the top three coils. Uh, and that worked perfectly. And so we've now got an SWR of less than two, uh, which is perfectly usable. I could tune it a lot more by uh, uh, moving the um, the tab across or around the coil a little bit to find the actual perfect sweet spot. But it's good enough because um, what you can do now is uh, use the uh, the internal antenna tuner because it's well within the uh, the internal tuner's um, uh, capability now to tune this aerial in. Uh, so we now have an 80 meter vertical which is uh, just a little under 10 meters in length which is cool and uh, of course if we want to use the 40 direct we just disconnect the top of the coil and put it straight onto the plate um, and we have 40. Right all works just to quickly take it up and we'll show you the SWR. It's very sharp the uh, the cue is incredibly sharp with the um, yeah with the, uh, the coil. Uh, okay. Turn that off. Okay, so what is it? It's about 110k usable. I can go with that, I can go with that, and it seems to work reasonably okay. Come back on. Mike Zero, Mike Zero, November. Roger, Roger, yeah, Mike Zero, Mike Sierra, November in the town of Gloucester. Um, I was just wondering if I could get a very quick signal report, please, gents. I've uh, just put an experimental aerial together and I was just wondering how I'm getting into you. Yeah, 
Yeah, apologies uh, for not giving the name. The name's Mike, Mike, uh, Mike India Kilo Echo. Yeah, okay, Mike, yeah, big signal. Well, I would say big, not, not massive, but uh, certainly audible. Lovely uh, Radio 5 in Picardia, 5 and 9 there, Mike, over. Yeah, thanks very much indeed. Okay, um, 0MSN, G4B2B. Yeah, good evening, Mike. Yeah, County of Cornwall, east of the county, 5 and 9 plus 20. Uh, but I've got you on a loop, which takes you right down. 